guys and welcome to Northgard with Mic Drop. This episode I'm going to play with the Ox Clan and to start with this clan is a little bit slow but eventually it will be very very strong. To begin with uh, or the biggest issue with this clan is that your buildings can only hold one vill villager uh, and of course later too if you upgrade the building but you can see the scout camp can only have one scout working at a time and the same goes for this woodcutter lodge over here also your hero he cost 250 gold and 15 metal but he is almost double double the uh, size or what you say he got double health of uh, uh, double health from the others and also he's stronger <clears throat> but yeah very very expensive but we are quite lucky in this map we have both a shipwreck and we also got the iron here so let's get going with that iron immediately uh, and also a house so let's start out with the house so because the buildings they can only hold one villager at a the time then therefore it doesn't matter so much to make your food buildings in the beginning because the villager they uh, get almost the same food alone than they do from the food building so just save that wood and let them gather some food and of course the wood the woodcutter's lodge should be uh, should be fine to have two of and now we got a forest in here so let's build it in here and then we will have some extra extra wood but let's get the mine going on and let's get the iron so we can get our hero as fast as possible also eventually I think it's once a year there will be a uh, there will be a, a a small what is called the treasure or somehow uh, where your your hero can can dig for that treasure and then he will find a a, a crisp equipment so we got some extra gold here and we also got some extra wood so let's colonize this area and build another woodcutter lodge or we should actually build a longship dock first so we can get some more gold we need those 250 gold and you can see the mine can also only contain one villager the houses can only hold four instead of five normally a house can hold five villagers but we can only hold uh, four from this house oh, we got some happiness here and so with this clan it, it is also important to keep up your happiness so you can get many villagers you need a lot of villagers to gathering the food and now we also have two sheep in here so let's get our hero and maybe kill that bear and in our lore one of the specials let me just get one into the ship and start here so the special special lore or skill trees is that you're gaining military experience or your military experience give uh, gives you a lore and fame so that's also why we want to get our hero quick as possible so we can start getting some extra lore and some fame because when we reach 200 fame our non-villagers units will have a bonus depending on our number of military units and so when we reach the 200 fame we can start building the the food buildings and then get the extra bonus from that but so far we just save up the wood and then we build it later also the furious uh, ferocious charge 
is our warriors they get 50 extra damage on charge attack and weapons are 100% faster to forge and cost 50 less but I'm not so sure about that because our hero can also do some nice tanking he actually uh, becomes uh, immune for all damage for 6 seconds and he charge or tanks um, all of the opponents so if you mix that up with some explorers they have six seconds where they can just start killing off without being attacked from the opponent also the military training is that your military units in the territory uh, territory gains military experience upgrading ca training caps cost 50 percent of its normal cost so yeah they actually provoke you to get the warriors but i still think that um it's better to have to have your uh, egg throwers going on instead and now we need another house and we can also build the woodcutter's lodge and you can see our food is quite okay still we are still on plus one even though we have two workers a miner and a sailor and also a scout out and we got our first and improve a zone is 50% cheaper specialized units get 10% production but we want to get our hero very very strong but we also want the warcraft so let's go for the mining and get the warcraft and after the warcraft we can go for the unstoppable where our hero will be much stronger because it's gonna be him uh, that's uh, who's going to do all the tanking and we just need our extras so right now we just need our scout to find the opponent or being close to the opponent and we just need three more iron and then we can get our hero we are fine on food and we are fine on wood so maybe take one woodcutter at the moment where is the other woodcutter over here and start taking some lore and then when the miner is done he can start doing some wood and you can also see we don't need to build a military camp before getting our hero so that's also a way to save some wood in the beginning and our mine is done <coughs> let's get this one oh, let him do some food we only positive 8 now we pass to 12 and we got plenty of wood and we still need some food for the winter maybe the scout should come back and do the wood cutting just over the winter let's see how much we go down <coughs> so now he's done and let's get the hero and you can see here equipped with legendary items and in the in inventory we can get some two times of gloves and two times of shoulders you can see normally one of them is more attacking and the other one is more defending and it's completely random what you get from the asian uh, ancient battlegrounds and one of them will be revealed after this winter so now it's just about waiting we could also start getting some gold and now you could see we got ancient, ancient uh, battleground we built here it is so let's get our hero to dig for the equipment and let's take some shipbuilding and also start 
getting some gold. And now we need some stone to upgrade and also we need another house so let's get the hero over there and kill those or that wolf and then we can take the wolf then after that and he's almost done and we got some leggings oh so now adds a 20% chance to evade attacks and increase Increase move speed by 20 in allied territories. So a little bit defensive pair of legends, but it's alright. And the military path doesn't matter so much when it's only wolves. And you can see how much la uh, health he got. He got 100. Normally they have only 75. And he got 20. Uh, now he got minus 5 because it's uh, winter. But let's see. Uh, colonize this area. Get a house. And get the stones. And maybe also a healer for our hero. And as you can see, even without food buildings, we are still positive in food production. And now we just need that house. And now our hero, he got 15 attack power and 10 resistance. And normally you can use this one. If you can find the ancient battleground, then you can just use this button. But we already took it. And it's only once in a year. So now we get our Warcraft and we can start on on the weaponsmiths and get the feeling safe as well and also mm, so you actually with this one you actually gain military experience uh, with you when you have military units in your territory. And let's get a healer going on and stone. <clears throat> so yeah, it's not the quickest quickest clan. It's a little bit difficult to rush. We could if we start out with some gold and go just go for a lot of gold uh, you can see we still got eight villagers to make that we could make uh, military units so let's start out with that now because we don't have any iron to upgrade so far then we need to get down here and get this area so right now it should be time to build a military base Let's do that main base. And we also get some stone from the wolf then. And we need another house. We can build that in here as well. We got space for three buildings. And here we also get some stone. We only need that for upgrading. So let's take out those wolves and then go down to or maybe take out the bear first because then we can get two sheeps and then buy the wolf clan wolf then 
120 and the next one is oh, I should be all right then we get rid of the wolves or we also get some happiness down there so extra was And the happiness is still good. We need some we just need the feeling safe, but we also get some military path and you can see we just got seven lore from killing a wolf. So let's get the weaponsmith and get some more damage. Oh, there's also a sheep in here. And now we can upgrade. So, and you can see uh, the mili the training camp also only gives us one warband. So another reason to get some more buildings here. Extra wars. Get a silo down here. Together with the food area. Because soon we will reach the 200 fame. So, and that gives us non religious units. Production have a bonus depending on the number of military units you control. So that's gonna be the next. And we could also upgrade the woodcutter slots to get some more wood faster. Either that or upgrade a house. Or upgrading the food, we got so many, but we can also get some more stone from down here. So, so far, let's get some wood, that's what we need right now. And we got the 200 fame, so we get a lot of wood now. And then we can build. Hunter Sludge. Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, give some more military path, so maybe that's not a big problem. Ah, we want the Cobalt to die first. So maybe we should have some military some egg throwers first let's just get the hunter's lodge and we can celebrate a feast when we reach minus in happiness so we still get some military uh, some villagers of course um, so start out with one and maybe also a woodcutter And perfect, we need to get in here anyway to get this this ancient battleground. So you can see we can't make that big of a warband, so we can either choose to get the conqueror or take the garrison and with the garrison we can just build some some defense towers and that uh, that way we can get a bigger wall band 
so you can see now because we have two two uh, military units we get plus two in the military experience and here every time we're gaining military experience we also get lore and fame so that's a very nice combo so I think we should go for hmm, of course we get the extra extra uh, military lore but let's go for the guardian instead so we can just build some defense towers and get a large a large warband from that kill the bear before it gets becomes winter and from the winter we have minus 10% wood consumption when we take this one and then we can also get the ancient battlegrounds and you can see we don't have to own the land actually it just has to be like a uh, um, an empty tile without any hostile creatures in this area and then we can still dig for the for the equipment but let's colonize it and get the plus two happiness and of course less wood consumption and we didn't get any military experience from these two extras because they were standing in a non-owned tile but now they're standing in the own tile and we got plus two again so our mine is done let's get this guy in the house still plus five so that's perfect and now we got some shoulders uh, increase defense by 10 and health with 25 so now we have 125 health very very nice let's build a how uh, a defense tower we're going for um, or we could also go for some iron here and build a forge and with the forge we can upgrade our extras with the iron we get from down here so I'm still not sure if we're going to get the guardian or if we're just taking the conqueror we got quite plenty of tiles um, so maybe just going for that one and oh we need to upgrade our scouts we just need some wood forges ready we don't need that we need some iron first So get going, get going. And damage on charge attack weapons are hundred percent faster to forge and cost fifty less. But we don't want warriors, we want the feeling safe. Some more happiness and we need some stone and iron so we can get going. So, and extras and the relic is doing that uh, our hero can provoke all the enemy, uh, enemy units. So as soon as we got 10 iron then we can build our relic and after that we are ready to go. And uh, a good thing we built our tower down here. Go, 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 go. So. And we need to upgrade our scouts and our houses 
So first let's upgrade house because we don't need to upgrade the scout camp yet. And we've got plenty of of stone, so let's upgrade the house first. Keeping up the happiness. And of course now we're wounded, so we're down on happiness. Let's organize the feast. And we got a new, so we need to scout this area down here. Let's get a villager to become a scout. And our hero, you can see when we press the ancient battleground, we will get immediately down to this area. Scout, go, go, go. Still ruined Let's upgrade the scouts now so it's done. And then we can also upgrade maybe the healer. So we can have two healers and also gathering some food when they are not healing. Again, organize a feast so we keep the happiness on positive. Cobalt camp. Did we open it? No, we didn't. So Take another scout. Oh, it doesn't matter, we just have one scout. We're still a little bit behind. And you can see we can also only have one smithy, so the forging is also taking longer. Could upgrade it. We got plenty, we still got 10 left, and we can get this area and get some more stone. So maybe upgrading it when we got enough wood. So positive one and happiness. So let's wait with this and take some I want some more happiness from this, so let's take the sharp X. Could also take some coinage and get some more gold going on because we need that as well. So let's put that down here. And now we got the military path. Hmm. Let's take the. You know, we got plenty of lore, I think, so let's take the guardian. We need another house. Some military path, and our hero can equip another legendary item. So 
So I don't think we should upgrade. We need some of that gold. And when we reach the 500 fame, our hero can also unlock the ram ability where he actually destroys a tower instantly. That's a very, very nice ability, but only works every 10 minutes, I I believe it is. But it's very nice if the opponent got a upgraded, uh, an upgraded tower, and then you can just immediately destroy the tower, and you can also have the ability to ta uh, taunt all the opponents. And we got the last gloves, attack power and reduce projectile damage. That's a very nice defense item as well. So as you can see, our hero is very, very strong now with three equipped uh, items, items and together with some of the egg throwers and we can have two more egg throwers and we are still plus six and we got plenty of wood so the gold is okay maybe we should upgrade the trading post doesn't cost gold and now we have the ram ability maybe make a small attack here before the winter Because we still have the protective defense and our extra was also upgraded. So let's build another tower. It's never a bad thing. We got plenty of wood anyway. And let's get that bear. Making sure it's attacking our hero, and you can see how fast it goes. Military path, uh, military experience get, gets, uh, gives us lore as well. So now it's just about killing, killing, killing. And we got the main base here, so we don't need the scout anymore. Colonize this area, get some happiness. And you can see we get 10% attack power and defense for each discovered ancient, uh, in ancient and central equipment so we get 30% attack power and 30% defense and his health slowly uh, regenerates with 10% of dead units max health so that's a very nice uh, one as well and we should organize a feast to keep the happiness up let's make two more extras and the woodcutters let them get back there and you can see our hero is actually healing up every time he kills or you kill some of the opponents and here we got some more extras. Let's get this one back. Get healed, healed up. This one can join him. But yeah, now uh, now we're playing against a one only one AI and we are playing it on easy mode and uh, also with low world hostility 
so of course it it makes a, it gives you a little bit incorrect picture of how easy it is to play with this clan but uh, the basics it's still only year three and we got three equipments if you are playing against a if you are two two uh, ox clans then there will be one one ancient graveyard for both of you and you cannot you can actually not take uh, the gray gray um, the battleground that belongs to the other clan so you are already uh, you're always secured uh, you're uh, always sure of getting a equipment <clears throat> and of course there's a little uh, little difference and now you can see when we get one of each equipped then we get some bonuses attack power defense health evasion project so you can see all the bonuses from your equipment <clears throat> but it's a quite slow land as i said in the beginning but eventually you can see we can have three wood uh, woodcutters in these two buildings uh, it's just the food because your clan is using more food than usually and they don't gather that much but we are still positive three even though we have six six uh, extras or military units and we got eight villagers then we only got one hunter's lodge with only one working clan member so it's the happiness and we have reached 25 of population so that's about the max of this ox clan if you want to do it a little bit quick and again these these videos are only to show you the basics of course when you play against uh, normal normal uh, players then they will uh, of course they will be better first of all and they will also interact differently depends on how the map is and how everything is going but as i said this is only for the basics and i hope that it still gives you and now we can get the happiness and still positive without even building a without even building a brewery and we are also minus one just because we have four wounded so if we wouldn't have that we would still be positive two so i think the most the best thing to be aware of is your happiness and then save your feasts till if you get ru uh, get wounded villagers or if you are going down on happiness get some tiles you can see right now i have one two three four five six seven eight no not this one so i got seven tiles and of course i get two extra happiness from from the guys over here but this was the basics with the ox clan i hope some of my tips or guidelines can help you to improve your own game i really like this clan to play with as well because your hero is very very strong and on uh, for late game this clan is one of the strongest because of the hero of course he can charge a defense tower so if you're teaming up with somebody else and then they can go for the extras and you can go for the bonuses with your with your warriors and then they can charge and your hero can charge and taunt as well and for six seconds and those six seconds are very 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 price uh, um what is called uh those are very very long six seconds for the opponent if they can only attack your hero and with 125 health and also those six six seconds he are uh, he is uh, indestructible or immune to all income damage so that's a very very difficult hero to to take out and especially if you are a team of two or even three and the two other teams they just go for the extras then maybe they can have let's say 15 or even 20 extras upgraded as well 
and you stand there with maybe only six or even maybe uh, ten warriors and your hero, I I can't see any way to to defend yourself against that even, uh, and also you will lose the first your first defense tower to the charge from from the hero. So if you play against against the Ox Clan. Try to take out, take them out before year three. You could see in the year of, uh, in the third year, I had three uh, equip equipments, and started to to be, to have a, a small small warband of six as well, and they were upgraded, and so from that, try to see if you can rush a little bit only with let's say four, four uh, units, four military units, and your hero. Just go in and kill some villagers because they can only they can only have one villager attached to attached to a building if it's not upgraded. So the ox clan is very vulnerable to to lose villagers. But uh, thank you so much for watching. And again, if you have any any feedbacks, please let me know in the comments, and I will try to answer all of your questions and if you haven't yet then go and check out my other videos i have now uploaded a video for every single clan so maybe my way to play with the clans the different clans and uh, my tips and guidelines in the videos maybe that can help you to improve your own game or maybe you see things from different perspective after watching my videos and it's all about helping you all I don't I don't do this for fame or anything I do it because I simply like this game and the more players we are the easier it is to get some online game going on because it is only fun to play against against other players who are on the same level as you are if you only play against new players or uh, or people who don't play this game so often then it becomes a little bit boring at the end yeah you get tired of winning if it's not a hard working winning but thank you so much for watching guys this was Northgard with mic drop I'm going to drop the mic thank you